Hey there, today I would like to talk about the Platinum Preppy. Now this is a fascinating little fountain pen. Uh, it is very cheap. It will cost you $3.95, the Goulet Pen Company, so I suppose it's a fairly um, standard price. That's what you will pay everywhere, I take it. Um, and it is it is therefore a cheap pen. I think it is the, the, the cheapest fountain pen you'll be able to get that is at least of some quality. Now, there are some very interesting things about this pen, things I would like to share with you. So, we will go through the pen, and then I will uh, show you some interesting things, and then I'll show you how it writes, and um, that's it. So, that, that should be uh, fairly simple. Let's take a look at the pen. When it comes to the fountain pen, uh, there are two nib sizes you can get. There is the, the fine, and there's medium. Now these come in a number of colors. I will show you these. Uh, this is the medium one. Uh, the colors will uh, uh, um, have an influence on this uh, the clip, which is black here. It should be black. You also have red, blue, uh, green, I think, a bunch of colors. And it will uh, uh, influence the, the, the color of the nib. So this is the black, and then the, the nib is really black. I also have an orange one, which I've got somewhere else. Um, and then the, the nib is actually orange. Now, the, when you buy the pen, it will come supplied with one cartridge. If you want, you can also buy a converter, but that's actually not necessary, because it is fairly simple to convert these pens to an eyedropper filled pen, which I'll show you in a, in a minute. I'm not going to fill out the pen. There's excellent videos on that. Uh, but let's let's for now let's just discuss the the parts of the pen. So what makes these pens so interesting? Well, for starters, they're cheap. So if you're looking for a cheap pen, then look no further. This is it. This is about the cheapest um, pen you you'll get, I think, uh, and it's it's still of a fairly decent quality. So that's one interesting aspect. The other interesting aspect, I think, is that it is really easy to convert these pens to an eyedropper, which has appealed to certain people. If you do a lot of writing, uh, then it's it's really useful to have an eyedropper filled pen because it will just hold a huge amount of ink way 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 more than any cartridge or any converter will ever hold so that's really a good thing um, now as to the body of the pen in all honesty there isn't that much to tell it's all plastic uh, the, the, the cap is a click on system uh, it has a, a plastic clip which functions reasonably well I think uh, then you have the, the actual pen. You can see there is uh, the, the, the brand, uh, well not the brand, but the, the model Preppy is on there. It's from Japan, so it has Japanese, uh, what's that, Yagana, Katakana, some kind of uh, the, the, the characters on there. Uh, it, it says that it's, uh, it's, it's black, which is useful if you're colorblind, for example, or if you just forgot that, that this represents the color black. Um, and it's it's uh, well that's, that's pretty much it. it. It even has a barcode. And it's it's not flashy. Don't don't expect a, a beautiful pen, uh, but it's 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 completely functional. Then you have the nib. The nib is decent. Uh, that's that's pretty much all I can say about it. Uh, it's uh, is is this going to give you the same writing experience as a four hundred dollar Visconti? Well, what do you think? Uh, it's it's clearly it's not going to be the same. It's just a steel nib, but really it's decent. Don't don't have extremely high expectations, but it is a fountain pen. It will take fountain pen ink, and it will write, and, and, and that's that's it. So it's it's really not that bad. You open it up, unscrew it. Uh, you you got the barrel. I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, as I said, every pen comes with. Well, did I say that? Well, every pen you you buy comes with one cartridge. These are proprietary um, platinum cartridges. Uh, you don't screw them in, I'm just carefully taking it out. Uh, so these are a bit different from international cartridges. I think the opening is fairly wide. Not as wide as with uh, a Pilot on a Miki, but it's still a fairly wide opening. Um, the reason I got it out is that I can show you something, and that's one of the most interesting features. I want to cover in a bit more depth in a minute. You can fairly easily remove the nib. See that? The nib of the feed, you just pull it out. Now I most likely have a lot of ink in my fingers, so I'll just try and wipe that off a little bit. Um, now that's a very fascinating aspect of this pen. Why? 
I'll show you in a second. For now, let's have a look at the barrel. One of the interesting things is that you can buy, let me just get one, you can buy a package of rubber O-rings, like this, look like this, from the Goulet Pen Company. I think it's it's ridiculously cheap, a bag of four is one dollar, maybe two dollars, it's, it's, it's really, really cheap. And what you can do is you take let me just put down the barrel. You take the, um, uh, the, the the grip section, and you just put the O-ring around that. Now, of course, I'm doing this on the fly. I probably should have removed the cartridge. Also, I just cut my nails, which probably wasn't that good of an idea. So here we go. You just put on this rubber O-ring. You see, it fits nicely put it all the way down and if you can't do it I guess I hope it'll just work if I yeah so screw on that a little bit and then it's it's on there so the rubber o-ring will now act as a seal what you could also use well, what you have to use in fact is some silicon grease uh, this is again from the Goulet Pen Company I'm, I'm not affiliated with these people but they are friendly they're super friendly they're really nice and they have all the stuff you need so why not buy it from them I'd say Silicon grease is, is just a, a type of grease. Uh, you take some, put it on your finger, rub it on these threads, then you take a bottle of ink and an eyedropper. I'm not going to do that right now, but you just take the barrel, you fill it up with ink up to about this level. Don't go beyond the threads. I'm always, I prefer to be a little bit safe, so I just put the ink all the way up to there or something. Then you carefully put this in, and you're done. And then the entire barrel of the pen is filled with ink. That will hold a huge amount of ink. And it looks something like this. Now you probably can't see it because this is Noodler's Blue Ghost. But you see an air bubble in there. Um, see that? So you can just fill it up with ink. And that's pretty much it. But then there's more. Because um, Platinum makes more than, than just the fountain pen nibs. What you can also get is the marker nib, or marker tip, I think that's a better word, which looks like this. Now, that is just a felt-tipped pen tip. And again, it's very easy. You can just pull that out with the feed. You can put it back in. I have to be careful because there's a cartridge in there. Again, it comes with a cartridge. You can buy that separately. So this is another type of preppy you can buy. This is the preppy marker. And then... There is the preppy highlighter. This one was black too. This one was, uh, I, I think that's a green. Um, I got this with a bottle of Noodler's Dragon Catfish, which is a highlighter ink. So this barrel is actually clear. What, the green stuff you see is the ink. I converted it to eyedropper. No, it already was converted to eyedropper. You can see there's just a little bit of ink actually in there. Um, and that is a highlighter. So this is the thing you use to highlight bits of text that you've printed out or written yourself. Um, so you've got the fountain pen, you have the marker, which is like a felt tip pen, and you have the highlighter, which is a highlighter thing. And then there is a rollerball tip. And the rollerball tip is something that is the only thing you cannot buy separately. I got uh, a, a uh, preppy fountain pen with a bottle of a big bottle of noodlers. Um, I have one of them here. So a big no bottle of Bay State Blue. This is not Bay State Blue, but it's this type of bottle with the built-in eyedropper. And if you buy that, then with specific noodlers inks, you get a eyedropper converted platinum preppy fountain pen. And with some of the inks, you also get one of these replacement rollerball tips. So I'm, I'm not a huge rollerball fan, but you can, if you want, take out the fountain pen nib, as I've just shown you, just pull it out and put this in. Now, a little tip I have for you. If you want to have a rollerball, but you don't want to buy noodles ink for whatever reason, um, you can actually create one of these yourselves, because you can buy marker and highlighter replacement tips. I think that is uh, $3 for 
two of these things and they will last a long time so it's actually a fairly good deal now the funny thing is if you take the marker so the one with the felt tipped tip like thing you take that you see the plastic thing it comes with the plastic thing you just hold on to this and onto the plastic thing and you pull it out now you just have the nib holder then you buy a pack of four noodlers rollerball tip replacements you can also buy them from the Goulet Pen Company. I think they're $2 for four of these things, so that's really cheap. And you put it in the plastic holder. I'm not going to do that all the way. You probably have to apply some force to get it in, get it down all the way. Oh no, it actually works. And then you have a rollerball replacement tip. Now, you can just, again, take out the nib from your fountain pen, put this in, and you're done. So it would be. I think uh, $3 for the marker replacement and $2 for the uh, noodles uh, rollable uh, replacements and then you got a uh, possibly a fully operational uh, rollable preppy. Now I say possibly because I have not tested this. I have heard that this is possible. It looks good. I mean you hardly see the difference between the actual thing you got with the noodles ink and this thing so I suppose it should work. But I'm not absolutely sure. So if you want to be really sure, I mean, please don't uh, send me hate mails if this turns out to leak because I'm I, I haven't tried it. And you, you want you can try it. I, I by all means I think it would work, but I'm not absolutely sure. So that means that if you buy, by the way, the fountain pen nibs you cannot buy separately. So what I would do is I would buy either a fine or a medium preppy fountain pen, depending on your preference. That is $3.95. Then get a package of highlighter replacement tips. Two tips for I think $3. I would get a pack of the um, um, marker replacement tips. I have just put in this uh, rollerball thing. Now I can't get it out anymore, but that's fine. Um, I got another one lying around here. No, apparently I don't. Whatever. Uh, so the, uh, the 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 felt tip things you can get a packet of that two of those for I think three dollars, and then maybe some uh, noodles rollerball things if you really want the um, rollerball part to work. And then for what is it twelve dollars something like that, uh, you have four different pen types. Now I think that can't be beat. So interesting pens. Um, as I said, they are on the cheap side. Don't expect a fantastic 14 karat gold nib uh, it's, it's not going to write like that my experience is they write very adequately uh, they are nice to use um, in my experience the medium nib is pretty interesting because it is very slightly stub like it's not it doesn't seem to be as round it seems a little straighter uh, which gives you a little bit of line variation which is actually kind of nice uh, so that's if, if you like such a thing, of course. Uh, so so that's good. I would recommend getting the medium nib, although it can be a little bit scratchy. But as I said, it's a really cheap pen. It's a really cheap nib. Seriously, what can you expect? But if you have to do a lot of writing, get one of those, convert them to eyedropper, take them with you wherever you go, and if you lose them, you lost three dollars ninety-five. So if if you go to a lot of places and you're afraid of losing your pen, um, Here's the solution. So in all, I like them. The, the the markers are very useful. I've got one of these markers filled up with blue arrays, which is a, a specific noodles ink that will write on whiteboards because I, I teach at a university, so then it's it's very, very useful if you can just take your own marker with you because usually you enter a lecture hall and there is a whiteboard, but then the markers that are lying there are dried out or they don't write anymore or the, the, the tip is completely blunted or whatever and you just have your own marker with you and you can just write in the whiteboard you can wipe it off when you're done so that's amazing I use the uh, highlighter quite a lot um, it is very cost efficient because this is really a lot of ink and it'll last you a long time you don't have to throw it out so unlike these these plastic markers that you buy you use them and once they're done you throw them out you don't have to throw this out anyway because you can fill it up with your ink of choice just like that all the way again and you're ready to go so that too is a very nice invention I really like it so if you're looking if you're in the market for a cheap pen 
um, I would seriously consider the Platinum Preppy. They're not bad, they're not fantastic, but they are definitely nice and they will write well. And as I said, for just a couple of bucks extra, you will get all the options of having a marker or a, a, a highlighter. Cleaning these things can be a little bit bothersome. You can always put them in water with about 25-20% bleach, and that generally restores them to their sort of white quality. Um, but that's uh, uh, you know up to you whether you want that or not. So get them. Uh, Next thing I'm going to do is I'll show you how these pens write. All of them, so the, the, the fine, the medium, the highlight, and the marker. Uh, I have to warn you. I, I I have to. I had to do something fairly stupid. As I said, this is my my fine um, preppy, and currently it's filled with Noodler's Blue Ghost. Now, for those of you not familiar, this is a uh, ultraviolet uh, light. You see that? Ooh, ultraviolet. Um, you can only see this ink under ultraviolet light, otherwise it's just like writing with water. Uh, so that's a very stupid ink to demonstrate a pen with, and I have a strong feeling you may not be able to write what I'm reading very well. Read what I'm writing very well, sorry. Uh, but it's what I had in there, and I really didn't feel like cleaning this out just to put in another ink. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, if, if, it's, uh, if, if you're really, really interested in seeing a fine preppy write, uh, or see comparison between the fine and the medium, then I can always fill them up with another ink, but then just put down a comment or something. And I'm sorry for demonstrating something with illegible ink, but it was what I had. And I have to work with what I have. So, whatever. Um, so, I'll show you how they write next. And um, that's it. So, see you later. And thanks for watching. Okay, writing with the Platinum Preppy, so I will start out with the medium nib. This pen is surprisingly smooth. For such a cheap pen, I really think this nib is pretty good. I like the, um, uh, the the medium nib better than the f uh, the fine nib, and um, in general, um, I do think both are okay. Now, this nib, the medium nib, has the tendency to be a little sharp, so may you probably hear it. I'm really not applying that much pressure. And you see there is there is some resistance, so it is not extremely smooth. Um, it can be a little scratchy, but come on, it's it's what is it a four dollar pen or something? Seriously, you, you cannot imagine, you can cannot expect to get the same writing quality as you would get from a fourteen or eighteen carat gold nib, right? I mean, four four dollars or something. Um, I do think for that amount of money, this is a really nice pen. So if you do some normal writing with it, then um, it, it really is surprisingly okay. It's a very light pen. It's uh, I, I I think it's nice. Uh, so for now, I'll just I'll stick to this. Um, the ink is the proprietary um, you know, platinum black that came in a cartridge with it, and you know that's that's pretty much it for this pen. Now then, I have the fine nib. I hope this is going to work. Because this is the uh, I have this eyedropper converted. Now this is Noodler's Blue Ghost. And that's a pretty fascinating ink. Can you see that? You probably can't. So this is a, a fine uh, nib. This is the uh, UV light necessary to be able to read it. You probably can't read it anyway. Um, but it's it's interesting. Um, 
the fine nib is just really a bit finer than the medium nib, uh, which is clearly indicated by the name, but I mean, it's, it is it is indeed finer. Uh, it is very comparable in the way it handles. It's got the same level of scratchiness, although I think the medium nib is, in fact, a little bit scratchier than the um, uh, fine nib. Let me darken things up here a little bit. Okay. You see that? There we go. Now you can see a little better. So, of course, it's ridiculous to demonstrate this with Blue Ghost, but it was what I had in there, and I didn't really feel like cleaning it out all the way. Um, it's a typical ink, but it's fun. It's a really interesting ink to use. Um, I can really recommend it, just to, to, to play around with it a little bit. And if you switch off the UV light, then it's just completely gone. There's no way of telling that this uh, you ever wrote anything there. So, the uh, quick brown fox, etc. This is just to give you an idea of the, um, the nib. Again, my apologies for this ridiculous ink to demonstrate a pen. It's probably a stupid choice, but as I said, it's what I had lying around. So then we have the... Um, uh, the the marker, the prepping marker. Um, well, considering this is blue ghost, you won't see it anyway. Uh, the marker is just a marker, right? I mean, this is what you get with a with a felt tip pen, for example. And that's just what it is. So it's there's not that much to describe about this. There's no medium fine broad nibs. It's just a felt tip pen. The good thing is you can use your fountain pen ink to have a felt tip pen. So uh, this is the cartridge, the proprietary platinum cartridge that came with the pen. Uh, but you know you can easily convert this to an eyedropper. As you can see, I already put the rubber band in place. Um, uh, the the, the O-ring is the official term. Sorry. Um, so you can use your fountain pen ink to, to create a marker of whatever color you like, which I think is fairly cool. And then finally, we have the um, uh, highlighter. This is really getting low on ink, but enough to uh, give a short demonstration. Uh, this is just for marking text. So in here I have uh, Noodler's, uh, what's it called, the uh, Dragon Catfish Green. The funny thing is that that is uh, fluorescent as well, so you can see some uh, interesting things going on there. Um, this is really good for highlighting uh, texts. Now, just to tell you, show you that I'm not lying, you have a text. And that is uh, dry. Just make sure. And then you can just highlight it. As you can see, there is maybe a little bit of smearing, but it is minimal. It's really very little. So I like that a lot. So I can really recommend the ink, and I can really recommend this um, highlighter preppy, because it's really useful. And um, uh, you can, of course, use different colors. Uh, there's different colors of um, um, dragon catfish. Uh, there is, I also have one of these filled with... Um, um, what is called a Pelican M205 uh, ink, which is a, a very bright yellow highlighter ink, uh, and that works uh, fantastic as well. So, in other words, you get all of this, and in theory, what could work... Let me give us some light again. In theory, what could work is just buying one pen and a couple of these replacement nibs. This is for the... Uh, the marker, this is for the highlighter. Uh, you just put them on there and you can experiment. So it's not a lot of money and it's great fun. So these are really interesting pens. So that's it. Thank you. I'll uh, see you later. Bye bye.